So the next step up from the smartphone world is the point and shoot camera. And this is a really broad range of cameras. There's you know, been a lot of different changes in this and some more professional made ones and some you know, very consumer based ones. But you know, there's some cool features too. You now have waterproof cameras. You now have amazing zooms built into your camera. And it's really pretty interesting what they've done with this market. And if you're looking for something that's all in one, you don't want to deal with other lenses and all that, it's a good starting point to get into photography. Some of them do have better manual functions. A lot of them will use sort of scene modes, very automatic, just point and shoot. You know, it's nice and simple. Personally, I think that if you want to get into photography, it's good to get a point and shoot that has some more of the manual features. Uh, some now even have you know manual uh, focusing, and you know th this is really a, a big category. But the main difference between a point and shoot camera and a DSLR, for example, is that you don't take the lens off. The lens is built onto your camera, and dependent on how you want to use it, there's a lot of different features and you know whether it's video recording or you're going into heavy weather and you want something that's weatherproof. So we've attached a couple links to some of the best point and shoots that we think are out there, but this is constantly changing. There's a lot of updates happening. So always do your research before buying a camera. And next we're going to talk about DSLRs.